Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. This is my harvest or Thanksgiving tree. It's pretty much my excuse to put the tree up early. And let me show you how I did it because I love this tree. So I put this tree together mostly by stuff I already had, but this was entirely Walmart and Dollar Tree. So I see this as an excuse to put the tree up earlier and keep it up longer because you get more use out of it and it's not filled with stink bugs in an attic somewhere. I am starting to work on lighting my tree. I've been trying this new technique and I've just really been wanting to see if it does anything different. So this is just kind of a science experiment. Sorry, I don't have a tripod at the moment to illustrate this for you guys using both of my hands, but I thought this might give you a better picture of what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going through and fluffing all of the branches and then fitting the lights there and just kind of shoving them into the tree and before wrapping them. So once you are done wrapping a branch and you have brought your light you're working with out to the front, take the strand and just kind of like shove it in the back of the tree and then just wrap the strand around the branch until you get to the front and then you take your lights and push them back in further and you repeat the process around the whole tree. Now this is the first year I have tried this. I love Christmas if you guys don't know and I'm excited to see how this turns out. I painted my walls because they were purple for the longest time and I love purple but I wanted something that could really like facilitate Christmas colors without making me throw up in my mouth. And so this year I have put more lights on my tree than I ever have, ever. I usually do two strands and this is four, I believe. And they're these multifunction lights from Walmart. I love them so much. I will show you guys the box when I get some new ones because it seems I just need more and more each year. They are the perfect twinkle lights and they have like 16 functions. This is my fourth strand, so I'm hoping I can get it together from here. I just had the bottom of the tree. I have to say guys, I just took all of the lights off my tree to start over again because I had lights on that I left last year because I thought, oh, last year I did a flawless light application. So I might as well just keep it, right? Well, that seemed great until I realized that my tree was filled with stink bugs and I had to kill all of them. I thought it might be better to just completely restring the whole entire thing. So we're gonna see how this works, but I'm hoping this will be the final time I put lights on this tree, unless I'm putting like a new color on there or something because I wanna keep this left up and just kind of maybe like fluff it and everything each year to get it back to shape. The ideal thing for me is not to worry about untangling a mess of these ridiculous lights because it's just so stressful and I untangle enough yarn as it is. So my goal is to eventually have the perfect lighting on my tree so that I can keep it up on there all year while it is in storage. I just wanna save myself like this frustrating step every year because I think the real fun I have when I decorate my trees, the ornaments and just the fun little touches you can do like bows and garland. I will finish up the amount I have left. I've never had this many lights on a tree. It's going to be crazy bright, but at least they all twinkle and I can sync them up together. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. It is needing some sprucing up. So to make this more of a harvest tree or, you know, fall themed, I'm going to put on some of these orange lights that I got on Amazon. They are battery operated and they have like a ton of functions that are pretty nice. So hopefully that'll make this look a little bit more autumnal. Now I am going to add this jute burlap ribbon that I got at Walmart as well. This isn't holiday affiliated, so it was a lot cheaper. Okay, so here I have my burlap garland, and I had to use two spools, but 
I just put that up there until I could get some scissors. This is the topper from the Dollar Tree that inspired me to get the burlap because I thought this is so pretty, but they did not have any ribbon to match it. So this will be our topper. Oh my god, you guys, I have made a big mistake. I forgot to get some garland ties. Yay, I made it work without the garland ties. So here is what we got so far. And I don't have the tree skirt because I have forgotten where I have been storing it at, but hopefully I'll find it soon. In case you were wondering, these are the garland ties that I was talking about. Basically a Christmas tree branch. And you can use it to secure just about anything. And I could have used it to secure this bow on here, but I ended up being able to just bend the tree itself and have that to accommodate the bow. So now I'm going to add some little fall touches to the tree. Some more goodies from Dollar Tree to help spruce it up after we put on some ornaments. Time for ornaments. I am such a hoarder that I actually bought these in the middle of the summer knowing that I would like to make a fall themed tree. So this is me holding myself accountable for it, I guess. I think this was like 25 cents. Yay, the tree has ornaments, but I am a little bit extra, so I'm not stopping here. At the Dollar Tree, I found these beautiful floral picks, as well as these ones here. It's difficult. I'm not really sure which ones to use. I don't know. We'll see. I also have these, but I just don't really know how to incorporate them because I think I overestimated on the garland. So I think the one I'm going to use on my holiday Christmas tree instead of this one will be like a little bit thinner just because for the proportion of the tree, it's a little bit thick. Time to add in some of our picks. So I will show you how this looks in a little bit because I'm going to incorporate our, I don't know what this is supposed to be called because it's just kind of like glittery branches. Yay, so I am super happy about the way this has turned out, especially because most of this was from Dollar Tree. And I think I will add one last more little touch. I think I will add these leaves. Yay! So this is the finished product. This is my first autumn tree, harvest tree, whatever you'd like to call it. I found a way to incorporate the little leaves. So it kind of looks like they are falling down the tree. Yay, so here is my full autumnal tree. I've incorporated our leaves right here. I could not find my tree skirt anywhere, so I will have to do a major dig for that. But I found these fake leaves at Goodwill, and I just thought they make a nice makeshift tree skirt when you need something to cover up the tree stand in there. And that's it. I'm glad I used the burlap because I almost used this that I also got from the Dollar Tree, of course, but... I don't know, I just kind of felt like it would flake everywhere and I'd have even more glitter on the floor. But I really like the way this turned out. 